ตาแนน Okay, we have another. <laughs> we have another b o o d l e here. Um, since ever since the video about Anna buying me a lot, a lot of coffee beans, right? I think she bought me 14 bags of coffee. Um, a lot of people are messaging me actually that I need to vacuum seal my coffee, right? And I've been wondering. Um, well, I've never really stored my coffee that way. I've always just let them on the counter. Um, no matter how long, I will drink them. But anyways, um, since a lot of people are are telling me to do this, um, I got curious. So I got my own vacuum sealer, and I think it's a good. I've already played with it actually, so that I will be able to demonstrate to you how to use it. Um, I think it's a nice product. But yeah, today I'm gonna show you this vacuum sealer, and why would you want to vacuum seal your coffee? Right. Let's open it. There. It looks like this. Actually, um, it looks like a laminating machine. <laughs> I saved removing this part for you guys. And so that you will see that, yeah, because some some people enjoy this, so I'm gonna share it with you. <laughs> um, so this particular vacuum sealer. Can vacuum and seal at the same time. I'm not sure with the other. I'm not sure with the other products or the other machines. But this one in particular can do both at the same time. Again, this is my first vacuum sealer, so yeah, I'm gonna plug this in. I bought small bags because. The free that came with the machine is quite big. It's for actual food. Okay, so I got small bags. If we want to use it for coffee, yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot to get some coffee. All right, I'll be right back. Right, we have coffee from H Proper. Um, I wouldn't normally vacuum seal coffee beans from H Proper, but for the purpose or for the sake of demonstrating to you how it's done, we're gonna use this. All right? This bag is actually um, particularly made for the vacuum sealer, right? So there is a specific bag for vacuum sealing machines. You don't. I'm not sure if you can use any other um, bag, but yeah, I just I just like to follow. Right there, we have a bit of we have some coffee there. I think I think 10 grams of coffee. Now, when you open this part, okay, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see. When you open this part, there is a clip there. There is a clip here. There you see. Yeah, there is a clip there, and you are going to put the edges of your plastic here. There, and then the plastic has a textured side and a smooth side. You put the textured side down, facing down. All right. Next is we're gonna spread the coffee beans so that we get better suction. Okay. And then we're gonna close it. 
then press down then there is a button here to seal I think try first there and then it's gonna stop on its own and then you have a blinking button here which says seal and then so we're gonna press that seal and then stop right now we're gonna press again on the sides to release it and there you have it you have a vacuum sealed coffee okay um why do you want to do this so most coffee enthusiasts most coffee lovers um whenever they whenever they get a very expensive coffee beans something that they would want to try in another day or because coffee beans have a very short um, shelf life right so after roasting the peak um the peak period is after 10 days and then it starts degrading after 10 days so um and it's quite and it's actually quite good up to two months for me for me right i'm not saying it's a general rule but i'm saying that it's actually quite good after two months and some people would vacuum seal their coffee to make it last longer now um after buying this um after buying this gadget i actually want to experiment what would be the difference if i vacuum seal a specific coffee and then um, put it in the freezer versus the same coffee but i'm just gonna put it on the shelf just outside the freezer just normal um temperature like the humidity and the temperature here in the Philippines, right? Because in every country, we all differ in um, humidity levels and climate and weather conditions. So um, a lot of people in the West, um, they are the ones who started this. And I just have this theory that vacuum sealing your coffee is not really applicable in the Philippines. So we'll see if if my theory is right because the humidity here in the philippines is um is crazy it's 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 crazy right so what i'm gonna do is vacuum seal coffee freeze it and then maybe after three or four months um, we're gonna open it again and then we have a control the control would be the one that is outside the freezer and is not vacuum sealed. I'm just gonna leave it in the original packaging that it came with. And then we're gonna see which one tastes better, right? How about you? Are, are, you, are, you, are you vacuum sealing your coffee? If yes, and you want to save me the trouble of the experiment, <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what happens. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!